What's up, everybody? Sam from Cubi Studios here, and we are back in another episode of Millennium Duels Expert Mode. This time, we're taking on Vtrix, and I have my new capture card, and I'm using new video editing software. I believe I've got all the settings correct where it's going to be capturing in the highest quality and exporting the video in the highest quality. I've got a new, like, Elgato. Finally, everyone said that those were, all the reviews online said that those were, like, the best value for your buck. So I finally got one of those instead of my old half gauge. HD PBR, which is what I've been using for like the last four years or so. So hopefully I've figured out all the settings. I mean, there's probably going to be a learning curve. I'm also using Adobe Premiere now to edit the videos instead of Final Cut Pro, which I have been using. So this will be my first time using both of those. Hopefully everything works out okay. If it doesn't, oh no, the Yu-Gi-Oh! video this week won't be in 4K. How could you possibly watch it in 2018 in 720p? Actually, it's, this would probably be 720p anyway, because it's still on the Xbox 360, because I'm still playing Xbox 360 games in 2018. You're welcome! Okay, so I thought I'd bring back the Fire Fist deck. I haven't used one of these in a long time. I'm just kind of bringing back a whole bunch of cards this, uh, these last couple duels. I need to remember what each of these do. Okay. Gyoko! Activate this card by targeting one set spell tracker to your opponent controls. Your opponent cannot activate the targeted card in response to this card's activation. Sure. Let's go with... I'm gonna assume you always place your most important card first, because that's what I do, because I'm completely predictable. What card should I play here? Once per turn, if you activate... Oh, I should have played that after once per turn, if you activate, yeah. That's what I should have done. Oh, I can just play it, though, once per turn. Oh, that you just have to destroy a monster for that one to work. So let's go with that. You can target one level four. Especially in face-up defense position, its effects are negated. Actually, maybe we can get like a cool XYZ summon by this. You can target one level four, but I want to target the one level four. Excuse me. You can target one level four fire beast warrior type monster in your grave. Oh my god, reading card effects would be fantastic. One of these days, before I beat this game, I'll read a card effect or two. It'll happen, trust me. See, and then I would, if I just summoned him, whatever, I would have been able to do it. Ah, oh, that's okay. Gladiator Beast, of course it has 100 more than me. How unfortunate. 1800 though, I can. I have one in my hand that will, uh, well, isn't it, isn't that the point of the Gladiator Beast though? It's gonna get something out that's weaker. I was gonna say that would be stronger, but. Uh, what's happening? So this is destroyed now, right? Yeah, okay. And this is gonna be Mirror Force. Oh, don't equip this. This is Mirror Force. Ooh. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. Let's get this effect correct this time. I'm just assuming I've got an appropriate XYZ monster. Oh, thank you. I didn't even look at the extra deck. There we go. Close enough. I'm sure you do something fancy, right? Let's play this. Boop. Activate the effect. Yeah, that sounds like a good effect. Select the cards from your deck. What am I doing? What's its effect? Well, this card is, is XYZ Summon. You can set one directly from your deck. Once per turn, you can detach, negate the effects of all face-up monsters. Except Beast Warrior until the end of this turn. Or, until the end of your opponent's turn. But isn't... Hang on. Isn't this a Beast Warrior? No, it's Winged Beast. Clarification. There are so many different Beast cards. So I want to get one of these to prevent Mirror Force from being activated. Can I activate it this turn? I can. Fantastic. I just... That's Mirror Force. That's why he wanted this dead so bad. Let's return. You can detach, negate the effect of all face-up effect monsters currently on the field. What's the effect? This card is special summoned by Gladiator Beast. Target one thing and destroy it. At the end of the battle phase, if this card was attacked, you can shuffle it into the deck. Well, it's gonna be dead. Equipped? If the equipped monster would be destroyed, destroy this card instead. When this card is sent to your graveyard... Oh! Well, let's detach one of these. And let's negate that so it doesn't get shuffled into the deck. And we'll just do damage to it. Hmm. Well! Fancy that. Well, there goes my best monster in this deck right away. How's that feel? The answer is bad. I asked, how's that feel? Like I did it to the AI, but it happened to me, and I'm very upset about it. Oh, you fusion summoned, huh? I don't like that the newer fusion cards completely get rid of the purpose of polymerization. 
Because it's just like, we'll just discard the cards now. You don't even need Pulverization anymore to get Fusion Summons. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense. Pulverization's a dead card. Um, because XYZ and Synchro Summoning exist, and they're better than pretty much any Fusion. Except for, like, a couple. But they're the ones that don't require Pulverization. Let's just set this, because when it's destroyed, it lets me Special Summon something. And then I can pro once it special summons next turn, I'll be able to synchro summon something. I assume it's got a tuner card, which means I would bet I have at least one synchro monster. Yes. Oh wait, I can't bring out four, never mind. I must have another tuner though, right? Just kidding. What's the one that lets me summon another monster? There's one that does that, right? Oh, I can do this too. Once per turn, you can send one fire formation to the graveyard, then target one monster on the field, destroy that target. That's not a bad effect, but I already have that one in my hand. Okay, none of these let me special summon something like I thought. But I've already got... Oh, I want bear. So let's get rhino. Or no, I have rhino or gorilla or something in my hand. Let's see, okay. We'll do that for now. Then I will destroy this next turn. Unless it's got like forbidden lands or something, which I'm sure it does. When this card is activated. You can add all the beast prayer. You can only activate one. Well, let's activate this and I will remove this one instead. So that way that one trap card is still... Um, that mirror force is still preventing activation. Let's get the tuner monster. I'd like to add this from my deck to my hand. Thank you. Can I summon you? Who are you? No. Okay. Do I have a level 8? I do. What do you do? This card is synchro summoned. You can set one fire information directly. All monsters your opponent controls lose 100 attack for each space. So, okay. So this is still doable. We'll activate his effect. You can set... Send one to the graveyard. Let's send this to the graveyard, because it's already done its effect. We'll destroy you. Right. That's fine. I expected that. Oh shit, this isn't gonna... This isn't gonna pan out, because this only has 2,000 attack. But if I place it in defense mode, it'll be fine. Never mind. It's got 2,800 defense. That's a stupid amount of defense. We'll do that. There we go. That's the plan. Aha! Did you really have activate the effect? Yes. What should I add from my deck? We could do this trap card. Again, 700 attack till the end phase. Well, that's not bad. All Beast Warrior monsters you control gain 300 attack. That's pretty strong. When this card is activated, target one Beast monster you control during the end phase. It's, during the phase, its attacks are negated. It's also unaffected by other effects. And they gain 300. This lets me summon another one. But I'm kind of out of, like, special summoning stuff. Let's go with the... It gains 700 attack. And it, or they all gain... So this will gain 1,000 attack for next turn. That's perfect. We'll use that. That's so strong. As long as he lives. Even if he doesn't, like, 1,000 attack would be insane on any monster. What else are we at? Activate the effect of a card? No. I mean, I guess I could. I'm gonna wait till it's my turn to activate it, though. Just in case. Activate the effect of a card. Yep. Select the monster to gain attack. Him, obviously. Then we'll switch you to attack position. 2300, man. There's gonna be someone that's gonna be strong right here. You can sub. Let's just go with this one. Because he's got the highest attack. I don't know. No real reason for it. Let's just attack. Shrink! You serious right now? Neat. I got one fire fist monster in your graveyard. Uh, select the card to send to the graveyard. This one, this one. I mean, he's really the only one that can save me now, is if I bring him back in defense position. I guess. And I can just fiendish chain this when it goes to attack, and then I can summon this the next turn. The fire king. No, wait for it to attack before you use Phoenix Chain, because he might summon something stronger. The answer is no on your attack. I refuse. This is still Mirror Force, so attacking is still dangerous. What are you? What is the spell card I just drew? Target one fire monster you control, one fire monster in your graveyard. Destroy that monster you control, special summon the other monster from your graveyard. Hmm. What could I get rid of here that would be good? I got rid of him and then brought back him. Do I have another 
What's left in my extra deck? I brought back the guy that special summons. I have another level 4 XYZ. Let's see. You can detach two XYZ material, target two Fire Fist formation cards in your graveyard, and or face up on the field, and two cards in your opponent's graveyard, and face up on the shuffle those cards into the deck. You can only use the effect. Okay, that's not bad. Let's do that. This is, of course, hoping that his effect can be activated when he's summoned from the graveyard. Destroy you. And then we will resummon you. Oh, yes, perfect. Target Fire Beast Warrior. You. I want. Uh, why is the. What? Oh, they have to be two level four Fire Fist monsters. Okay. Never mind, we'll just summon him. Okay, during the next standby phase, after this card was destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, it's special to summon this card from the graveyard. Destroy all other monsters on the field. If this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Fire King monster from your deck. I don't know if I have another Fire King monster. Get rid of the effect negated guy and this dude. So this still kind of worked out, but I know he's going to get Mirror Forced. But it will put him back on the field and destroy everything else, so it's not the end of the world. Oh. Never mind, his effect's not gonna get activated because he got banished instead of sent to the graveyard. Wow, that... Okay, how frustrating is that? I also only have 25 cards left, so I can't, like, draw Beatrix out. Especially because all of his cards go back to the, uh... Back to the deck. His deck really focuses on me just not being able to attack. Which is fantastic. Because every time I've tried to attack, it's been thwarted. And I guess I just set this. Because I can special summon it later. When it dies, it goes to the graveyard. End phase. Fancy. What else you got for me? Nothing? Eh. Eh. Okay, but he just summoned the same monster again. I guess now it didn't lose 100 attack. No, it still loses 100 attack. And he's dead. Oh, but it doesn't have Phoenix Chain on it anymore. That makes sense. As to why the AI would do that. Hey, I remember this card. Fire Fist monster you control attacks or is attacked during damage calculation in either turn. You can send your attacking gains equal to the attack of the original attack monster. Well, I don't have a Fire Fist card anymore, so I can't do that. There's no bait there that could happen. I don't know why I keep setting monsters to be destroyed, actually, because he can't kill um, my level, my synchro guy. He can't kill Fire Fist Kirin or whatever. So there's- I'm just sending monsters to die when I do that. So I should probably not do that. Okay, that turns also useless to me because I didn't get another fire uh, thing. That's what I need to get. And then make sure I'm reading his effect correctly. Battle phase. Oh, you probably die or something when you do this, right? Why did he do that? What was the thing? A destroyed Fiendish Chain, but Fiendish Chain was already not doing anything. So I guess thanks for cleaning up my, uh, my side of the field. When this card is activated, target one Beast Warrior you control during this phase. Its effects are negated. Also, it's unaffected by the effects of other cards. That's a strong buff, but it's not gonna make him stronger. Fire Fist Monster you control attacks or is attacked during damage calculation. You can send one face-up fire formation, one Fire Fist Monster from your hand to the graveyard, once per battle. Your attacking attacked monster gains attack equal to the original attack of the monster sent to the graveyard. Okay, so I would need to activate this. So next turn, and I can send you to the graveyard and I'll make you more powerful than him. This should work. Activate the effect of a card. No. What's happening here? Are you attacking me? Yes. Why? But... But why? Okay, now he's super fusing for something really cool. Oh god, it's 3,000 attack. Please don't have a list of stupid effects. What are your stupid effects? Must first be special summoned by shuffling the bow cards into your deck. During either player's turn, when a spell trap card is activated, you can discard one card and, act and negate the activation and destroy it. This card must be face up. Okay, he can only do that once per turn, so here's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna get him to negate Pot of Duality. Nope. Do it. Fuck. Indicate Pot of Duality. Well, one of these three can be another Fire Fist card. That would be great. Please. Okay, thank you. Or Fire Formation, I mean. Select the cards to add from my deck. I need this so I can remove it. 
is he's gonna negate this spell. Activate the effect of a card, yes. You're gonna negate this trap. I know it. I know you're gonna negate this trap. He didn't he didn't negate the trap, which is part of, which is an issue. What? Okay. Fantastic. When this card is activated, you can add one to level four or lower beast warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. Okay. okay. There we go. He discarded a mirror force for that, so there's actually some value to that. Do no, there's not because he's only got he's got three thousand attack, which means he can kill this guy. Crap. Hmm. Wow, this was a long duel for me to not win. Oh, and it lost 100 attack, too, so so close. It's so far. He's got low enough attack, though, where I like to believe that maybe I could win this fine. No, because that thing's got 3,000 attack, so we'll get rid of my life points faster. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Beast Warrior monster in addition to your normal. You don't have a card to negate this, but the extra summon I would do would be pointless. Okay. Let's return. You can send a target one spell track card in the field, destroy that target. Is that really what I want to do here? Do I have another level 3 fire monster in my graveyard by now? I don't. When this card is normal summon, you can target one level 3 fire monster with 200 attack or less, or 200 or less defense in your graveyard. Special summon that target face of defense position. If you do, you can only attack with beast warrior type monsters for us this turn. Okay, but I don't have that. It's I don't have that. What effect can I activate? What is this? You can send two fire formations from your hand or ignore face up on the field. Fire Fist or Fire Fist Formation cards from your hand or face up on the field to the graveyard to special summon this card. So it would be both of these to special summon him. And that would let me summon... Uh, okay, that's worth I can get that guy out. I have to believe. This one and this one. That this will work. Because then I can shuffle both of these guys into the deck. Holy crap! I mean, he's still gonna have Mirror Force, so attacking here is... Oh, it's ambitious! But I really don't have any other choice. He discarded one Mirror Force, so there is a chance that the card that I've been preventing the activation of this whole duel is not. Right? What's the effect of this? You can detach two XYZ materials from this card. Okay, yeah. It does have to be both. Doot, doot. Did I read this properly? Because why is it asking me to activate this? Then target two in your graveyard. Or face up on your side of the field. Oh, okay. Thank you. The deck didn't have, or the graveyard didn't have, like, a weird, uh, thing. Or it didn't have, like, the yellow circle around it, so I was afraid it was, like, not gonna let me activate it. What else do I want to return to the deck? You? Sure. This one? Ah, damn it. It has to be face up. Okay. I got so close. I really thought that was going to be the comeback. We're so close! Yet so far. How disappointing. That- I just- he, his deck like completely shuts you down. Like negates summons, negates attacks, negates spell trap. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully if I'm able to just get a good start on him. Wow, he starts the, every duel the exact same way. Alright, well, at least I know how to work this guy properly this time. Activate. Well, let's hold it for that first. This card inflicts damage to your opponent you can set from your graveyard. Once per turn, you can send one face up, then target one monster in the field, destroy that target. Okay. Once per turn, this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard. Is this the same card? Wait, what? This card inflicts battle damage. Oh. Okay, so we want to go with this one. So I'll summon you. That might have been a mistake. Okay. Activate this to get to prevent this card from being activated. I assume the first one is the important one. I guess I could destroy it, but I like the hundred attack boost. Rescue Rabbit. Activate the effect of Fire Fist Gorilla. Absolutely. Let's get one of the trap cards. Oh no, it has to be a spell. Okay. Let's grab this one. If I can activate this in main phase two. It should let me special summon another card, right? During your normal, during your main phase. This is my main phase. Aha! So I can either do my tuner, or a level, f or my level four uh, X Y Z, or my uh, synchro, or level. Four. So this guy, or this one, Tiger King. Let's go, Tiger King. 
So I will summon you. And then we will... I can get a third card out once I summon Fire King. You and you. Ooh, maybe I should get the uh, another spell negation and lock down the other one too. I was thinking about grabbing the trap, but let's grab another one of the Gyokoko. Yes. This card is XYZ Summon. You can set one directly, and I think we're going to set the one that negates spells. I like this. I just like the idea of him not being able to use these two, because they have to be important. I'm sure there are other important ones, like the one that can be destroyed instead of a different uh, card, but if he's set these two already, they will get in my way. If I could, because I, now I can lock down two of his spell trap card zones at least, and prevent them both from being activated, and get him to 25 attack. That's not a bad start. It'll be hard for him to get cards, good cards out immediately. Swords of Revealing Light is probably an appropriate response by him now. Just because I don't think there's anything he can... Probably can't attack me for a while. If I'm not special summoning cards, I might as well use Pot of Duality. See if I can grab another... Fiendish Chains, probably not horrible here as well. Or Fire Formation Tenkin. Fire Formation Tenkin implies that I still want to be the, on the aggressive. Fiendish Chain implies that during these three turns he's going to get a better monster than me out. No. Because with this trap card, even if he gets out a better monster, it my uh, this guy should still have more attack than it. Let's just set you for now, actually. Or maybe I should have played it in attack position. Just because it have what? 1400, 1700 attack? That's not, that's nothing to shake a stick at. Okay, one turn of swords we're really like down. I get the feeling he's, Vitrix isn't going to try to attack anyway. Activate the effect of a card. Oh, for a second I just read target one face up monster to destroy that target. It has to be special summoned by a gladiator beast for that effect to work. Woo! Select one monster you control. Its effects are negated, but it gains another 300 attack. You were going to attack him anyway to take damage, and then you get shuffled. Ah, you probably will destroy the one that gives 300 attack, I assume. No, he wants to, the AI really wants to use the spell trap cards. When this card is activated, you can add. Okay. You know he's got Mirror Force. Add the designated card to yes. Give me which one can I remove to destroy a spell trap card from? I don't care about Rooster. This one, I need this guy. Because you will allow me to destroy the card that uh, is in the center here. I'll send this one to the graveyard to activate this effect. Oh, I can summon more than one this turn, that's right. I want to destroy, we'll destroy this one. Or we'll destroy, yeah, I guess that's technically destroying it on my side of the field, but I want to get rid of this guy. Hmm. Well then. Let's try that one more time, shall we? Let me grab him back from the graveyard. Well, I guess his effect's negated, but I can get a fancy card out for it. Yeah, let's do this. You? Oh, I can't use him. Shit, whatever. Got these two. In the attack position. These duels are both really long. What's your effect? I'm not going to use the effects until it is I can attack. I will use that to remove what I believe to be Mirror Force. And then one other card. Night Eater Beast, 2200 attack. Da, 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 da. How dare you. Please don't be the fish. What is this? What's its effect when it's special summoned? It's gonna do something. That spell card's thing keeps popping up. Damn it. Ah! Oh shit. 2500. It can kill the one on the right, which allows me to reshuffle cards. Damn it. No, no. That's not what I want. Is Swords Revealing Light seriously still on the field? Are you fucking with me? I know this- the problem is I know this is Mirror Force. I know it, I know it, I know it. 
If I let both of them die for this mirror force value, no, I shouldn't. That's not worth it. I need to keep these guys level neutral on the field for now. I will end this turn until I can destroy that card. His attacking is pointless in the meantime. Oh, it wasn't even. Wow, it really wasn't Mirror Force. Oh, can I? Is it too late to back out of this? Shit. <laughs> I need one of the tuner monsters. And then you. Because I need to do the Synchro Summon. Or else I've got nothing. Literally nothing. Wow, that's going to cost me this duel real hard. Okay. Both of them. Attach both of them. Collect the cards to target. In the graveyard, I want to send you back. And I will send... What else should I send? You back to the deck as well, because I like the ability to negate his things. I'm going to send this back. I'll send this back to the deck as well. Woo! Okay. Crisis averted. Now which one should I get back? Let's go with him. Let's summon him one more time. I don't win yet, but I'm gonna get a fairly good amount of damage going here. Activate the effect, yes. Yeah, I wanted to gate one of these cards. I'm not sure which one. Oh, I can't activate this one yet. Damn it. That's okay. I choose to believe this one is more valuable and will actually kill me. What's this effect? Oh, it doesn't even matter. Okay. Please tell me I didn't pick the- I picked the one that was- That is such horse shit. I have been so paranoid about Mirror Force this entire duel, and yet he still gets to activate it for some- Man, I had been so cautious about Mirror Force this entire time. Are you kidding me? I should have probably waited until he decided to activate that effect. <laughs> I probably did it too early. I guess it saved him, but... Target one face-up card, dude. Discard one beast warrior, one monster, and if you do, destroy that card. Well... I can't discard anything, because it's all I've got. Yeah. That figures. Uh, oh, and you can destroy the trap card now. Totally random, he would get the one that would destroy something that's the only thing I've got left. Totally random! Fantastic. This game is, like, actually actively trolling me at this point, right? What is this? It's got 1600 attacks, so this should, in theory, be okay. Nope. Not even close. It was so calculated. Everything I did was so calculated. I had been meticulously playing through this entire duel, and to lose like that? Ah. Like, just to lose like that is just so brutal. It does... It doesn't even feel good. Or, like, fun. Because I've lost now. I mean, maybe. Yeah, no, I've for sure lost because he's going to special summon something. But I've already used up all of my uh, key monsters in this deck, so duel is over. This is the one that targets a spell or trap card on the field. Okay. I was really having trouble getting him out earlier, but now that I need to get rid of a monster, he's the first one I get. <sighs> That's so stupid. I can't. If I had picked the other one, I'd have won this duel already. But instead, I picked the one that wasn't Mirror Force. This Mirror Force is such a fucking stupid card, dude. Onslaught that we need. Your opponent controls the monster, and you control no monsters. Sure. Let's actually bring out. Its effects are negated, so let's actually bring out the Fire King. I know it's effects are negated, but I 
can at least kill this fusion one keep me alive for another- No, I can't. <laughs> oh, I can't! You gotta be fucking with me, dude. So close. That's actually probably one of my most frustrating losses. Because it was all lined up. I had all the monsters I need for direct attack to win. And then I just picked the wrong choice. Like, that was completely RNG loss. Alright, so I'm gonna try the Evil Swarm deck. Just because it negates special summoning. And I feel like that's gonna be really strong against him. Now, since I've already drawn one of these, I don't remember if I've got three of them in the deck to be able to use Rescue Rabbit's effect. I'm gonna try it, though. Because I would love to be able to get a special summon going. Okay, I do have three in the deck. It's like the monster special summon. You. Now I got two of these guys, and I can XYZ someone. The first one I'm gonna do is absolutely gonna be the guy that like negates any and all special summoning. Here we go. Which one of these? You can target one face-up monster you control and controls if you do take control. That's so good though. Detach, change that special summon monster to face down defense position. Eh. We'll get him out. Well, five or higher monsters cannot be special summoned. That seriously limits the play in his deck. And I'll get one of these cards out as well. That will prevent. I'll uh, get one of its infestation cards. Solemn warning. Okay, yeah, never mind. Fuck me then. I didn't even get to get out infestation before that happened. <sighs> wow. Okay. But I have bottomless trap hole, so I'll at least be able to stop the summoning of one of them. There you go. Boop boop. Bottomless trap hole. This bitch. Immediately, no hesitation. Yes. See ya. Nope, I don't need to finish chain it. You're gonna set another spell trap card, which I'm assuming is going to like annoy me in some fashion. I can't summon either of these, but I can summon you to get you will bait out the um the mirror force or the shrink or whatever the hell. It won't be shrink, he's gonna save that for yeah, there we go. There's the dimensional prison. Saw that one coming. Okay. Now I can Fiendish Chain, whoever goes to attack me next. Yeah. Sure. Let's just prevent it from going back into the deck. I'll trap it here. End phase. There we go. Hey, I got that infestation card I wanted. God. Let's turn you control on your hand or side of the field. And get one. Okay. Next turn I'll do that. I'm not even going to use uh, Smashing Ground yet, just because I want Fiendish Chain to at least make value, get value. Just keep it trapped there. I'll use Smashing Ground on a different one. See? This is why, because now I can use Smashing Ground on his the second fusion. He's got three of these. I will use this. Deck to your hand. Once per turn, you can shuffle one Iswar monster from your hand or face up on your side of the field into the main deck. Yes. I won't be able to summon this card now. Okay, you'll go back into the deck just so I can get another card that I can draw with. Select the card to add. Okay, this is the guy I want because he lets me summon another card. So that is what I'll do. I'm going to take the damage from this attack, and then I'm going to get another summon going this turn. I mean, there's no real... I don't have a choice about taking the damage from that effect, but... I like to... If I say it like that, then it sounds like I do. Okay. Uh, smashing ground, you know. No. I don't need to change the effect. Just get rid of that. I will summon you. During the turn this card was normal summoned, I will get another summon. Nope, not this. Let's summon... Should I do another XYZ Ophelia summon? Because that'll prevent special summoning. We could get Orb... No, I can't get Orb because I need three of them. Yeah, let's do Ophion. Okay, so watch as they both die here, but at the very least, I can send them to the graveyard once they get killed. By using my trap card. It's like the game's warning me, like, you don't want to attack here, believe me. Holy crap! It's fantastic, because I'm actually going to be able to get out. I actually did some damage to Beatrix, and he's running low on life points. I don't remember what I did to do life point damage, but I'm really happy about it. <laughs> I, I, I totally don't remember what did. How I got him down to 2,000 life points, but sure. Okay, that'll prevent a level 5 or higher for now. And then I could probably switch this guy. Just because I won't be able to summon him. So, I mean, might as well. So I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to sacrifice my uh, the guy I currently have on the field. 
Who's got a good effect? If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can special summon this card from your hand. That's not bad. It's not like I can use any of these cards directly this turn. And then if I don't want it later, I can just swap it for someone else. But this will be helpful just in case he does... What is this? Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ to add an infestation spell trap card. Sure. Detach you. Let's get out... What is this? Quick play? Are currently unaffected by other spell trap cards. Oh, give me. Thank you. Let's just set this for now so I can activate it next turn. Because this game seems to freak out on activating quick play spells. It, like, freaks out if they're not set on the field and won't let you do it. I know you can activate them from hand, but this game will, like, not give you the prompt sometimes. Because of it. It's like it totally forgets that they can be activated. Do it. What are you gonna do? You're gonna target the face down one, right? Oh, wait, it wasn't special summon, so never mind. <laughs> I was thinking, like, he's gonna destroy a card, but that's not how that's gonna work. Yes! No! Let me activate it! Okay, never mind, I can't. Teehee! <laughs> should I guess I should have activated it at the beginning of the turn? Wow, I can't activate that in response to shit. God! That's so frustrating. No. This game, like, just fucks with me in every. every chance I get. Okay, what are you? During the other player's turn, when a card effect is activated, you can banish this card. During the standby phase, return this banished card for this effect, and if you do, it gains 300. Well, can I just. actually. Summon you. Okay. Who's left to special summon? I can special summon you. Yeah, that could win me the duel if this works. I should have remembered to activate this first. Okay, well, let's activate it now before anything happens. What? Why can't I use this effect? Once per turn, you can detach one X-ray, target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Discard one is swarm monster. You can detach one material, target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Discard- Oh, I need to discard. And I don't have one in my hand, okay. I have to- I was reading discard as, like... Um... Discard is in, like, detaching something from this. Okay. Well, that was fun. Didn't we have fun, everybody? You're gonna fuse that thing together. Basically ends the duel here. <sighs> Fantastic. There you go. Do the thing. I don't even have, like, one turn left. Okay, with this card is summoned. You can normal summon, but I only have one card in my hand, so that doesn't matter. I'll try and set it to delay it a turn, see if I can get anything going, but I'm assuming there's nothing left. Yeah, because he's gonna... Well, he doesn't win yet, but I mean, they're gonna shuffle into the deck and fuse. There you go. Destroy my Phoenix Chain, which actually doesn't do anything anyway, so that's a useless effect. But you're a dumb AI, so you don't know that. You can banish one monster. This card gains 300 attacks on your opponent's next end phase. Sure! Who should get banished? Oh, I have Rescue Rabbit in here still? Oh, it has to be a new Swarm Monster. Okay, see ya. I don't even get that. I don't even get to destroy one more monster before I lose. Great. I'm gonna try the Evil Swarm deck one more time. I don't know. I have faith. This is his, like, Beatrix starting formation every fucking time. Two cards set, one spell card. Every time. Ah, <sighs> alright. Special summon you, attack position, just because I'm going to get rid of it immediately. I assume one of these is, like, a way to get rid of him, so I'm going to do that. Oh, too bad I should have waited until I, uh, I actually activate, or I actually XYZ summoned. Whatever, during the player's turn, I'm just gonna use this as material as well for the uh, XYZ. Bring him out to get destroyed this turn. I just feel it. I feel it in my bones, the destruction of this card. But that's okay. Maybe I should get out the- now we'll get the trap card out. Attach you. Ooh. What the hell notification did I just get? Alright, let's grab the trap. Like I was saying. We'll set this, so 
So the next turn, once these cards start getting destroyed, I at least have ways to send them to the deck. There you go. See ya! Hmm. Maybe I should try the Natura deck next after I lose here, just so I can maybe have a way to uh, stop these cards from activating. Because I think what's actually killing me more often than not is the spell trap cards from Beatrix. I think that's doing more damage to me. Okay, dude, the 900 points of damage you're gonna do. The big thing I'm looking for is the card you're gonna bring out in exchange. It's probably Beast to Rye, right? Yep, there he is. And that's why I'm getting Fiendish to. No, no. I said no! I guess I could chain to get another card, it doesn't matter. Oh, I keep saying no, even though it's gonna keep asking me for that. Swords of Revealing Light, fantastic. I'm just gonna keep prop. No, don't use the effect now. Activate the effect of a card, no. Wait, what's left to activate the effect of a card? Oh, it's still gonna ask me to activate the trap. God, I hate that. I just wanted to read my mind, okay? Can I send this trap card back? No. Oh, no, I have to send this guy back. See ya. Let's add... I'm gonna go with him for now. And then for the rest of the turn, I'll have to hold B, because there's no effect that I can activate. Well, I could activate this, but I don't want to send the only monster I have on the field back to my deck. Thank you for the generous offer. That's right, you don't want to attack. You can't attack, son! Now do we... I can tribute this card to destroy that, or I can XYZ summon. Do I want to get him out again? I don't think so. I think we'll wait on that until I actually have at least three monsters on the field after it. Because when he's the only one that gets destroyed from, like, Solemn Tribute or something... Aha! There's really no point in this. I should have distributed him to destroy it, considering. Let's add... If one controls more monsters than you do, special summon. That's right. How many turns? How many things are left in that? I actually can't see because my webcam is in the way. Ooh, negating the effect of an effect monster will be good. This fiendish chain pissing me off now. Okay, end of the turn. Burden of the Mighty actually is being quite effective here in negating a lot of his attacks. Just because there's really no way for him to summon stuff. No. Because what's going to happen is he's going to attack it, but then I can at least use its effect to destroy Just kidding, he's not. Oh, because it's still weaker, that's right. Ah! Aha! Okay. Oh, no, he's not. It just isn't attacking because it knows. Okay. It's just not attacking because it knows it'll get destroyed by the effect. Interesting. Especially when... Nope. It does destroy it by 50 points, and that's kind of frustrating, but... I'll send that one back to the deck. Kind of annoying because they'll still have a way to summon it, but... You win some, you lose some. Okay. I'm just gonna attack. I'm not gonna XYZ someone because he's probably got Mirror Force or, like, Dimensional Prison or some shit about to happen. Isn't that right? What do you got? Mirror Force. You... I wonder if that negates the attack. Select the cards to add from your deck to your hand. Or if, um, it still happens. Let's see, shall we? Okay, nope, it still- it doesn't negate the attack and it's- the effect still happens. But, I can summon him defense position for it, so it's not the end of the world. That could have gone worse. I can also bring cards to my hand, motherfucker. Or back to my deck. Mister, I'm gonna shuffle all of my beast warrior guy things. Here comes the fusion. Again. But now I technically don't have a way to get rid of this. Now there's really no point in doing anything here. Just let that die. Another Phoenix Chain. The problem is I don't want to activate Phoenix Chain again because this is going to, uh, shit. It's gonna prevent me from being able to summon any- or, uh, set any more spell cards when I, uh, lock up my field and trap card zones. This guy. And then I'll probably prevent him from attacking him. 
kind of. And it'll only do 150 damage to me. So we'll leave him out in the field to try and zone for me a little bit. Do a little bit of protection. Would be fantastic. Ah, see, it's learning. I was expecting the summon to come now, but it knows. I guess it's not learning, it already does know, but. Okay, destroy you. He's still gonna get the 1500 damage. Now I just need to summon. I need to get any monster here. Fantastic. I'll even banish some things for good measure. I have a couple cards I can probably get rid of, right? Probably nothing too sacred in the graveyard. Get rid of you. Oh, I have to do it two different times though, right? Chain another effect. Let's not get rid of the guy that I just increased his attack of. We'll get rid of you. I just don't like you, Thunderbird. To see ya. I think the 600 attack point boost is going to be pretty crucial in the fact that he's already lost a couple attack, a couple points. Ah, Dimensional Prison. Fantastic. Well, now I'll use it. I don't know. It's kind of pointless just because... And now we'll add... You? Just because, I mean, it's still technically destroyed and I banished those other two cards, but this way... I at least can kind of feel good about it. I have access to the cards still. If that means anything. Main phase activate the effect of a card. Nope, it's just gonna be 1500 pure damage points. There you go. Do all the things. I'm just Thunderbird, but I really don't want it. Let's do this thingy. Nope, I want to activate the effect of the card I just summoned. Thank you. Banish. Uh, let's get rid of you. I just don't really like its effect. Select the card as the target. You can come back to my hand. Change another card effect? Nope. Maybe. Can I activate the effect of the card? No. Now I can activate this effect again that will let me special summon a card. You? Then we will XYZ summon, that sounds great. What if, I know he can special summon stuff, but what if I take him and I discard to special summon now? I mean, I'm guessing this is gonna get negated hard. Like super hard, like he's probably already dead before he even gets on the field. But we'll detach one of these guys. Let's just try it. Give me him. Nope. Get rid of him. Let's just give it a, a teensy little try before they get mirror forced. Oh my god, it worked. Just like that, I have retaken the lead. Nope. Yes, I have. And because, just because I expect some danger, I'm gonna finally set that mirror force that I, or the fiendish chain that I have been stubbornly holding on to. Just because I really haven't drawn any other spell cards to use. Of course, now I'm going to because I've locked up my spell or field spell area. There you go. Set the spell trap. Are you not gonna summon anything? That's gotta be mirror force, right? I just know it. I just know it. These two do enough damage to win, separate from. Uh, Okay, so I'll do this, and when they get Mirror Forced, I will just summon him in attack position at the end of the turn. I'm not even gonna be mad when it's Mirror Forced, there's just no way it's not. Holy crap! We did it! Nope. Ba 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 ba! Hmm. I don't like this. Unfortunate. He's got 300 life points left. I spoke too soon about victory. Now I know, I see the game. It's, I see its wheels spinning to screw me over here. I see it happening. No, don't activate the effect of a card yet. Cautiously. Okay, your opponent is succeeding in normal summoning a monster. Activate the effect of a card. Not yet. Not yet, we're waiting. Battle phase. Who are you attacking? Don't you lose here? No. Activate the effect of a card? No. Don't you wait. Don't you. 
Forbidden Lance. Okay. And then it stops letting me activate Fiendish Chain. Fantastic. Okay. And I can't save it through the... Uh, now I have to return him as well. Thoroughly fucking me over. Thank you. It's gonna let me activate Fiendish Chain now, you motherfucker. Whatever. Grab you. Because I can sacrifice this fucking bear next turn. Make the effective card. No, no, no. Oh, I guess it's because he's not dead. Wait, wasn't... I'm sorry, I thought he was gonna get destroyed after Forbidden Lands. Did that still not pan out? Wait, what? I was all pissy for a second, but what happened? I... Wait, what? Okay. You go face down? No, I would like to... I don't, I don't need to activate anything else. Maybe you can attack? I still won. I'm just... So did he just attack to do 150 life point damage to himself, destroy his monster, and then... What? I really assumed that there was like some 3D level chess action happening there. That's why he attacked. Okay! We did it! Locked Gladiator Beast. Fantastic! Oh, I got the Musician King. Remember when I was talking about how bad spell uh, fusion cards are now? Really glad I got one as a victory for this. Witch of the Black Forest and Lady of Faith. So again, you have to have two mediocre cards, Palmerization, you have to conveniently get them all, and then you use that to summon a 1700 attack monster. With no effect. Great! Neo Flameville Garda. Is this a Neo Spacian card? Because it has Neo in the name. During your end phase, if you control another face-up Flameville monster, select one card in your opponent's graveyard and remove it. And play. Stardust Phantom. This card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or card effect. It's in your graveyard. You can select one Stardust Dragon in your graveyard and special summon it in face-up defense position. You can remove from play this card in the graveyard. Select one face-up dragon type synchro monster you control. Once per turn, that Synchro Monster cannot be destroyed by battle, but each time this effect is applied, it loses 800 attack. That, I, so that's a Stardust Dragon support, I don't know if it's good or not. It's probably good. Moray of Greed! Shuffle two water monsters from your hand into the deck and draw three cards. Ooh. It even has the little Pot of Greed face on the fish, I respect that. I love when Yu-Gi-Oh cards have a, like, a designed theme, or like when the art of a card, like, is a callback to a different one. Especially if they're like, remotely similar. I love that. Chiromancer of the Ice Barrier. Ooh, Ice Barrier decks are always, like, a fabled fun card. But you control another Ice Barrier monster level 4 or higher monsters cannot declare an attack. Okay. Guardian Angel Joan. When this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, gain life points equal to the original attack of the destroyed monster. Evil Swarm Thanos. It's almost like Thanos! Two level four dark monsters, once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. This face of card is unaffected by other monster effects this turn. I already have three of them anyway. Laval Miller. I already have three of this card as well. This card is destroyed by battle instead of the graveyard. You can send two lava monsters from your deck to the graveyard. Thanks. Get it Miller because it mills your own deck. Alright, it was a long and hard fought battle, but we finally took out Vitrix. Tune in next time in expert mode as we take on Vector and his Evil Infestation deck. I wonder if that is an Evil Swarm deck then. Evil Infestation? Evil Swarm? That sounds... Maybe we need to use Evil Swarm again for another mirror mesh. Hopefully. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, all the YouTube things. I'd like to leave your feedback below, I'd appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think of the new capture card and new editing software there's probably no difference you probably won't be able to tell hopefully actually hopefully it's a smooth transition into looking it looks better i don't know hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all in the next video bye gold duck why does gold duck also looks bad he's not like the bright blue he should be he looks off oh see that does nothing to hentai perfect or sweet i mean it also didn't do much to hentai despite being super effective